This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe, and let's get right into the news. All right, so Mike Will made it, said he's sick of hearing remakes, and I don't blame him, okay? It's not original. It's too easy because it already worked once. Of course, if you redo it, it's going to probably work again. He said, please don't feature your classic remake. It's a pet peeve of mine. It's a pet peeve of mine too, bro. I hate that. It's such a cheat code. It's one thing if you're sampling a hit, not a, out of a different genre, and then flipping it. But to, sample, to, do, to just redo a song is too simple. Now, Cardi B, I guess she put enough pressure on Atlantic Records. Cardi B's upcoming album is one of the most anticipated this year. I think they were planning on putting it out earlier, but I think the Kendrick and Drake beef has stirred up so much stuff that, like, they decided to push it off a little bit because we, they don't know if Kendrick or Drake is going to drop again and kind of, like, take over the everybody's attention, you know? So it's best to wait a little bit and grab all the attention for yourself. Uh, Rolling Stone is featuring a cover of Cardi B as a reminder. I'm still that girl and y'all know it. All right, so she is dropping. And you know what? They might have thought about shelving it till next year. And she let everybody know that her album shelved. Atlantic Records got that pressure. Now they're going to put it out. T.I. said, um, you know, Kendrick and Drake have messed it up for other rappers like Cardi B that we're going to drop. And they kind of messed up their drop schedule. So they pushed a lot of stuff off. He says, he says, I don't know if a lot of that stuff is true they're talking about. But it was definitely something you had to pay attention to in the past week or two. Actually, six weeks, you know. And uh, it just took all the attention. It sucked all the energy away from everything else that was going on. Even Taylor Swift suffered a little bit because she usually does a little bit bigger numbers. Um, Meek Mill responds to I forget his name man This guy that's on with Ebro He says Ebro would say it in person Or via anything That's how we built respect with no violence Or shouting Bro is not aggressive Basically saying Mind my while minding my business 50 just posted my son a week ago That day I felt like saying something about Diddy's son 50 did not post Meek's son Meek Mill's a liar, bro. Like, Meek, all Meek Mill does is lie and play victim now. It, it's sad. 21 Savage tells if he chose a side, if two people were he messing with, the, if two people he was messing with were beefing, would he choose a side? He said, uh, if I mess with one person more than the other, I would say, hey, please make up with other guys so I don't say, I have to say F him. Well, in this situation he messes with metro more but he didn't say f drake and he didn't try to end it he alluded that oh yeah they were gonna work that out i don't think so i think that he just <laughs> he just says things to sound cool and street and i'm not saying he's not street i'm just saying some people overplay the role and i think that's what he was doing here quando rondo look at he he has he acts like he's still a crip he's talking about first of all i thought he was in jail didn't he like violate his probation like a million times or something? Anyways, he's in this video game talking about clicking up and joining different gangs. It's like, bro, you threw your flag down, bro. Stop trying to act like a gangster online. Please stop. Boosie shows how much sugar he puts in his signature Kool-Aid. That's like half the picture. He has diabetes. This man's trying to kill himself. This is like suicide, bro. Someone should tell Boosie, like, chill, bro. Sure, it tastes good, but nah. It's not good for your health, bro. Meek Mill says the black community needs therapy. I talk because I see a generation run by computers. Computers don't suffer, but people do. The points we be trying to make and don't lead to nothing. Just a bunch of people pointing fingers all day. I talk because I see a generation run by computers. Make stop. Go enjoy vacation or something. I love when people do these pictures where they, they all pretend they're laughing. Think about it. They were one, two, three. Everybody pretend you're laughing. Everybody's covering their mouth like they're laughing. My gosh. People were robots, my G. 
Anyways, this is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button. I'll check you guys in the next one.